Hi, welcome to our weekly update where we give you all the ins and outs of our trading week. And you can see what we've been up to and you can try and do something as well. Our first trade is the bulletin trade, what we uh, sold during the week. And as you can see, she's had a nice long uptrend here. If you look at the oscillators, they're all grouping at the top. And this one's starting to turn down the momentum. So we sold her up here at the 280 mark, a little bit before our target. Our target was 285. We sold her around the 280 mark, looking at the situation on the technical side and decided to get out. She has moved up to 283, 281 during the week, but she's back at 280 again. And she looks like she might just trend down now. Uh, if we move on to Cecil, we can see on Cecil, with the oil price being down a little bit, a little bit of weakness in the markets um, even though we've got this uptrend we can see she's pulled back again she's come back down to the 365 366 levels uh, we are holding a stop loss at 360 but we don't expect this one to carry on going down if you look all the oscillators are grouping at the top bottom the stochastic um, is, is right at the bottom uh, our momentum is, is still pointing down ease of movement is still pointing down but we do expect to turn and uh, I'll see this one going back up to 390 again probably before the end of December so we're not too concerned about Cecil um, but we are concerned about Xaria Xaria we traded um, at the 156 levels expecting her to easily go up to the 170 levels um, even though she's got this, this long uh, nasty downtrend here uh, she should still have traded back up to the 170 levels if you look at the uh, oscillators. Now we traded her around about here somewhere where the oscillators were pointing up and she's uh, refused to confirm and she's come back a little bit. Now she's confirming again but uh, in view of everything we decided to reduce our risk on this on this share by 50% and uh, sold half of our holdings. That way we, we won't take as big a loss as if she does go the wrong way. But uh, with looking at the technicals, even though the, the fundamentals are a little bit poor on the earnings per share with a 20% uh, reduction possibility at the end of the month, we might still get a little bit of an upturn, at least getting to around about the 162, 165 levels and take some profit and get out on this one a little bit earlier than expected. Looking at uh, Steinoff, Steinoff is a great trade. We feel this one's going to give us a lot of a lot of profit at the end of the day. This one has had a long uptrend for a long time, and she's been a great share for a long time, always giving profits. But uh, if you look at her now, we've traded her around about the 27, 27, and 20 mark. I think it was a 27 and 20 mark, and uh, we should easily go back up to the 29 rand. Uh, we don't see any any poor situation here or any retraction especially over the December uh, all the oscillators are grouping in the correct place they're all pointing towards the upside our stochastic has crossed um, as you know when the stochastic crosses it's a it's a sign that she's uh, turning and going in that direction so we're very happy to hold Steinoff at the moment and we expect that one to uh, pay us out quite well as you know we were holding SPA now SPA um, we took her based on the fact that she was paying a dividend uh, last week and uh, we expected that to to rise up but it didn't it's been pretty flat uh, but it does have a long uptrend that is a very strong company and a strong share uh, so we've decided to keep her to hold her uh, bearing in mind that we have collected the dividend of 2.75 uh, which reduces our cost from 122 to around 120 making it a lot easier for us to hold this share and we expect she, st she still will get up to 128 and make us a little bit of profit at the end of the day now a lot of people including ourselves were looking at the the mr price trade now, the mr price trade uh, looked great but it does concern us a little bit because it does have this this opening wedge situation which normally points to a rather nasty turn down somewhere around these levels and uh, we're a little bit scared of this trade a little bit worried about it we reckon it can still carry on going up this is a long uptrend this is a very positive share but when these little trend lines start to widen like that that does concern us but 
uh, saying that all the oscillators are pointing up everything's looking pretty strong but i think it, is, it might be a little bit late to get into the trade now if you want to get into this trade wait for the next pullback and maybe get in in the 130s somewhere down at the lower end anyway that's our trading week we hope you have a great trading week and uh, we'll come back next week with a little bit more information hopefully you'll make lots of money enjoy the week cheers